All right, another weekend with some good progress. This here is from last week, but uh, this side over here, that's really opened up nice. I Before I take those white, big white pines down, I think I'm gonna talk to mom, wait till she gets here to take a look. I'd love to give those, there's two beautiful cherry trees there. I'd love to give them some more room to grow and get rid of those white pines, but uh, two of them are on mom's property. So, uh, yeah, so let's take a little walk here. We uh, started down below here. Uh, let's see what we got. Looks like the deer might have changed their main trail a little bit since I started clearing some of this. But uh, this is opening up really nice here. There, I delimbed everything up high that I left stand. Those two big white pines there. A couple of beautiful cherry trees here. Gave them a little bit more room. Uh, this white pine's probably going to come down, I'm guessing. Uh, thinned out this side. And then, oh, man, I went to town on this side over here today. Um, Delimbed de that big white pine. Delimbed that. That's kind of a nice white pine. I might leave that one. That's nice and straight. And I can mow under it. But uh, kind of going up this way to the left is where I did a lot of the work today. And yesterday, I should say. Oh, this isn't all just today. Oh, it's starting to snow again a little bit. But here, there's a big pile of brush and some trees down over here. Gonna have to get the mini down here. When I get some traction, it's sitting right here, but I don't dare get too close to these steep points with all the snow on the ground. But all this came down. All these came down. Pines. Saved a couple of nice white birches and of course the maples. Saving the maples and the cherries. I think some of these here are Norway maples. Kind of hard to tell this time of year between a Norway maple and, and potentially a, a species of ash. But, anyways, there's a lot of stuff down now. It's really thinned out nice. It's coming together. Once I put that road in across up here, I'll be able to uh, run chains or cable if I have a winch and just start dragging all this stuff up the hill to the road where I can cut it up and uh, grab it with the grapple on the tractor. And I think I'm gonna, this stuff here, I'm just gonna move up to the parking area where the barn's going and uh, I'm gonna burn it over there, I think. Some of it I'm gonna save for firewood. There's some really nice stuff in here that I am definitely gonna save for firewood, either for ourselves or for friends or neighbors or something. All the softwood, these big white pines. Uh, I bring all that up to our neighbor, Todd. He has an outdoor furnace and he burns it all. I think I already brought probably whew, five cords worth of logs up there from these big white pines. These were monsters right here. Um, some of the logs are still here, but you can get an idea. That's, that's 30 inches across there, to a good 24 maybe. 30 inches across. I got these cut up into 
like 10 foot sections. But yeah, these were, these, I laid both of these down in that direction. Those are just all the tops from this one tree. I cleaned up all the tops from that one. Uh, that's what's down in that pile behind the tractor. But uh, yeah, this is going to be nice. I still obviously have a lot of stumping to do before I can mow it in the summer. But uh, yeah, it's coming together. I'm happy with the progress.